students whatever homework is given to you you have to submit it on the very next day between 8 am to 1 pm to the given whatsapp number and it is compulsory to submit your homework as your attendance will be marked on the basis of your submission good morning my dear students today we are going to learn social science of standard 10 chapter number 6 places of indian cultural heritage this is part number 1 students you know that the cultural heritage of india is very rich and prosperous indian as well as foreign visitors are attracted to visit the places of cultural and natural heritage of india in this chapter we shall study about these places now caves of ajanta the famous caves of ajanta are situated in aurangabad district near ajanta village they are important from the point of view of art of vastu these caves are divided into two divisions first caves based on wall paintings second caves based on sculpture caves number 1 2 10 16th and 17 have excellent paintings wall and have attained the highest rank in wall painting the theme of these wall paintings is buddhist religion Ajanta caves are divided into two categories they are chaityas and vihars caves number 9 10 19 26 and 29 are chaityas whereas the remaining caves are vihars ajanta caves were forgotten with the passage of time but in 1890 in english captain john smith rediscovered them ajanta caves are the magnificent example of initial buddhist art of vastu art of paintings and sculpture human interference and impact of time have greatly damaged them ajanta caves are famous not only in india but also in the world for their extraordinary rich art the fine blending of wonderful art of painting sculpture and architecture of ajanta caves as our pride for indian art now elora caves elora caves are situated at aurangabad district in maharashtra there are 34 caves in all there are three groups of the caves temples and they are different from each other first 1 to 12 are buddhist caves second 13 to 29 are hindu caves and third 30 to 34 are Jain caves Hindu caves are built during the reign of Rashtrakut dynasty Kailash temple is situated in cave number 16 it is 15 meter long and 33 meter wide and 30 meter high this temple is carved out of a single massive rock This temple is uh, adorned with um, beautiful doors, balconies and a series of pillars. The beauty of a um, temple cannot be described in words. They are constructed uh, during uh, the time of uh, 600 AD to 1000 AD. It is a live display of uh, ancient Indian civilization. caves dedicated to hindu jain and buddhist religions 
Elora Caves campus is not only an example of magnificent creation of art but also best example of excellent technology moreover it describes about the patience of indians now elephant caves these caves are built in arabian sea 12 km away from mumbai in maharashtra there are seven caves in all there is a huge stone monument of an elephant on seeing this structure the portuguese the portuguese named it elephant many beautiful figures have been carved out of them the magnificent three murti temple in cave number 1 is the best specimen of sculpture in 1987 ad unesco has placed the elephant cave in the list of the world heritage local fishermen called it darapuri now mahabalipuram mahabalipuram is located 60 kilometers away from chennai this city of tamil nadu is famous for its splendid temple architecture and seashore narsi verma one who was popularly known as mahamala belonged to pallav dynasty seven temples were built here at present only five chariot temples exist two chariot temples have submerged in the sea there is an amazing figure of the lord vishnu in smiling pose besides there is an idol of goddess durga slaying mahishasur is worth seeing mahabalipuram which has unparalleled architecture rock sculpture was also famous harbor of ancient time now patada kala memo now patada kala memorial patada the capital of chalukya dynasty is 16 kilometers away from badami nagar and dravidian style of architecture is used in the construction of temples here these were built during the 7th and 8th century virupaksha temple is the biggest temple in patada kal now temples at khajuraho these temples are located in a small village named khajuraho at chatarpur district of madhya pradesh khajuraho was the ancient capital city of chandela rajputs of bundelkhand so temples were built by these kings during their reign 905 to 1050 ad presently 25 temples are in existence most of them are shiva temples whereas some of them are vaishnav and jain temples they all have similar type of architecture and sculpture the 64 yogindis temples is the main temple the doran of the temple is the best example of ornamental style of architecture all of the temples were constructed with granite stone khajuraho temples were constructed in nagar style art of sculpture and art of vastu of khajuraho temples spelled bound the visitors now sun temple of konark it is situated near the bay of the bengal 
at uh, Puri district uh, in Odisha. It was constructed in 13th century during the reign of King Narsi Verma I, who belonged to the Garg dynasty. This chariot temple drawn by seven chariots, uh, by seven horses, uh, took uh, of a chariot uh, of the sun god. It has uh, twelve massive wheels uh, providing uh, beauty to the pedatal of a uh, temple. These wheels uh, reflect uh, twelve months and uh, each wheel has uh, eight spokes uh, which shows eight prahars uh, of the day. Details of the motif uh, and subject uh, diversity of this temple is unparalleled. This temple has been built uh, by black stones, hence it is called as Black Pagoda of Odisha. This remains uh, reflects uh, the sculpture and civilization of 13th century of Odisha. Now, Brohadeshwar Temple. This temple is located at uh, Tanjore in Tamil Nadu. This temple was built during 1003 AD to 1010 AD. It is a Shiva temple, so it is called Brohadeshwar. It is built by King Raj Raja I of Chola dynasty. It is known as Raj Rajeshwar temple. The height of this temple is 550, its width is 250 feet. It is spread in the vast area surrounded by the wall. Its summit is 200 feet high above the ground. Hence, this temple attained the place in the temples of high pinnacles. This is a marvelous uh, heritage of architectural art of India due to its uh, gorgeous and uh, huge uh, size of pinnacle and uh, artistic uh, decoration. In the same way, it has secured uh, a place among the best uh, temples of uh, South India. It has been constructed in a uh, Dravidian style of art. Now, Kutub Minar. Kutub Minar is located at Delhi. It was built in the 12th century by Kutbuddin Abak, who was the founder of Gulam dynasty. After his death, the remaining work was completed by his son-in-law, Iltut Mish. This 72.5 meters tall skyscraper is made out of round red stone and marble. Its circumference is 13.75 meter at its base and it is reduced to 2.75 meter at its top. Verges of Quran have been engraved on it. It is the tallest stone minaret of India. Thanks. There is given the homework. Please complete it.